Shane wouldn't you know. go to the edge, so I, 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 I'm going to take it. So I, I, I envision in the next two years we're going to be at Tactical Edge Computing on, on shipboard environments, which is bringing the cloud to the ship. Um, and, I, and I think that we are, we are poised to have a software factory that is going to help um, minimize the variance between enterprise business systems and, and ship-based systems. Um, and I think we are going to, to have to start challenging what we consider inherently governmental responsibilities when it comes to some of the security features. I'm not saying that we need to turn the keys over to the castle, but we need to, to come to, to realization that we're not going to be able to, to get the workforce and keep the workforce in some, base, in some cases, primarily in the security aspect. So what are those responsibilities or what are those automations that we can start turning over to industry and allow us to focus where we can keep those core business sets? Yeah, and I, I know the, the sort of familiar with some of the Kessel Run story there where it was, uh, uh, was pretty impressive how, uh, you know, the Air Force actually trained the airmen to code. Right, and so it was sort of a different way, a different response to sort of dealing with the industrial base. I thought it was kind of fascinating. Is the Navy thinking about that? I heard you talk about, you know, you've you've gone over there and talked to those guys as to. There, there uh, will we see, uh, you know, I, I think sailors coding, or they probably already are? I, I think you will, but I think the challenge that we have is is we keep asking them to do more with less. So if we, if we look at the shipboard environment, we used to have between 50 on an aircraft carriers, 50 and 75 administrators. Because of how we've went with... Um, uh, virtualization, we're punch trunk on virtualization and how we started to decouple that. The training hasn't caught up and now there's somewhere between 17 to 25 administrators which used to do the job of 50. Wow. But we're not getting the, the, the training's not catching up to them. We're not able to uh, inve invest in them early enough to get them into the, the coding skills because of a deployment cycle, be because of how the Navy is, is looking at those folks. So we have to, to, to look for those opportunities to bring industry in to help make it a partnership. Mm -hmm. um, and, and expand on where we can with the sailors, but I think that we really have to, to, to create this partnership with industry to fill some of those voids in the next few years. Frank? 